She holds husband's hand as he takes final breath, then son looks over and gasps. They had been married for 77 years. Every love story is special, but there are some that truly take our breath away. Such was the love shared between Raymond and Velva Brewer. The pair grew up attending the same one-room schoolhouse. In fourth grade, Raymond jabbed Velva with a hot poker from the school's fireplace, leaving a scar she carried with her for the rest of her life. Despite the rocky start, the pair fell in love and eventually married. She married me to get even with me, Raymond joked at a party for their 77th anniversary. The pair built a beautiful life together and raised six children, four sons and two daughters. Raymond worked for Ford and Velva was a homemaker. When Raymond retired at the age of 59, he became a preacher, and when they eventually moved into a retirement home, he held prayer meetings called Bible Study with Ray. They were good people. They had a strong faith in God, their son-in-law, Steve Harden, said. They were just down-to-earth, blue-collar people. Throughout their lives, one thing remained constant they were always together. And they would not have it any other way. I would not trade him for anybody, Velva said. He's so good. Sadly, as the years went by, their health began to decline. They knew their time was coming and that they would have to say goodbye, but they could not bear the thought of being separated. They hoped they would both go close together so they would not have to face being apart. Dad told one of the nurses before he passed that if they went close together that they should just be buried together in the same casket, their son, Bobby Brewer, said. Amazingly, the couple got their wish. As the pair held hands in their room at the Boone Landing Retirement Community, Raymond, 97, passed away. Just 30 hours later, Velva, 96, followed him. Steve said that when the family told Velva Raymond had passed, she cried. She said, I cannot live without him, and I believe she meant it. She just basically gave up. The family talked to the funeral director about having them buried together in the same coffin, and he agreed to make it happen. The pair was buried together on a Friday. Though their family mourns the sweet couple's loss, they know they went exactly as they would have wanted to. They were very blessed their entire lives, Bobby said. They had health issues but they overcame us. They were blessed and we were blessed because they were so fortunate. Were you touched by this couple's beautiful love story? Then share it.